All right, welcome everybody to the <clears throat> July 14th, 2016 yeah, like work session <laughs> for the Penfield Planning Board. I almost did. So. We weren't on TV in 2014. <laughs> uh, Allison, would you like to call the roll? Mr. Hetsky? Here. Knauer? Here. Tidings? Here. Burton? Here. Nursinger? Here. Valentine? Here. Sangster? Here. Okay, we have minutes from uh, our last meeting. June 21st minutes provided for the board. Any corrections, comments, updates from that meeting? Move to accept. Okay. <coughs> Moved by Burton, second by Knauer. Okay, uh, Hetsky. Aye. Burton? Aye. Knauer? Aye. Tidings? Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone. Exactly. Two table matters for the board tonight. Uh, the first is the is the application for baby landing. Um, as we said last week in the drop, there are no updates. There are still no updates. We're waiting for the architectural still and revised plans. Uh, again, as usual, if the board has no questions about it, we can entertain a vote for a continued table. Move to continue table the application. Thank you, Bob. No second. Hetsky. Aye. Burton? Aye. Knauer? Aye. Heidi? Aye. Okay. Church? We have the site plan opened up. Our second tabled application, um, Crossroads Community Church, Jackson Road, uh, currently tabled. Uh, the, the application was previously tabled uh, by the board pending the preparation of a draft approval resolution, Part 2 EAF. Uh, site plan wise, the latest plan was provided this week, forwarded to the board just with a couple technical corrections that were made and notes on the plans that staff had asked for. The applicants complied with all the comments from staff. Um, the board had no other issues as far as I, was, as far as I heard at right. the last meeting, which is why we prepared a draft approval resolution. Um, again, uh, if there's any discussion items the board would like to have now, now's the time. Comments, concerns? Hmm? That's the next part. Yeah. Everybody good? <coughs> yes. Okay. So the important part, again, with this application is that uh, they are requesting an area variance for a, in the 50-foot set buffer requirement. Uh, Doug's <coughs> highlighting it now. They're asking for 15 feet between them and the property owner, 35-foot variance request. The zoning board will meet next week to review this variance. Um, so if there is an approval tonight, that's a conditional approval uh, pending the zoning board's approval. If the zoning board denies it, obviously the approval tonight would be null and void. Um, so I just wanted to have that on the record for the board, understanding what their process still is, at least with the town with the town's approval process. Other than that? I believe the planning board received a letter from the neighbor that he was supportive of the variance yes. in yes. that area. Spoke at the public hearing. Yep. Okay. I'll uh, entertain a motion to um, EAF first. Do the you know sign the EAF? Give me permission. Mm -hmm. so make a motion to approve the EAF. Okay. Second, Second by Burton. Okay. Hetsky. Aye. Burton. Aye. Knauer. Aye. Tidings. Aye. All right. Somebody want to move to approve the. Uh, resolution. Resolution. So moved. Moved by Burton. Second. Second by Knauer. Hetsky. Aye. Burton. Aye. Knauer. Aye. Heidi. Aye. Yeah, and that is just uh, for the record, conditionally, conditionally uh, approved. approval by the zoning board. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. We'll be in touch with um, <clears throat> copy of the resolution here from the board and then uh, after the zoning board's meeting next week. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thank JR. You. Have a great night. You too. Okay, we got okay. a couple of miscellaneous. Yes. The one, one went away but one came back. <clears throat> uh, one miscellaneous item then for the board is the application of 2100 Penfield Road. The board previously approved it in 2000 14. 
Uh, this was for a, a new dentist office on, in the BNR district. The applicant received all their approvals from the town. A year had gone by, they came back, came back for a 90-day extension to the approvals that was received, that was granted by the board. However, that since expired in August of 2015. Uh, since then, the applicant was exploring other options with the business, possibly other locations. However, they've come back to us and said, we're back. We vetted out all of our other options, and we'd like to continue with our project here and start building uh, this season and open up next year. So before the board tonight is a request to reapprove the project as is. No changes to the site plan layout, no changes to the architecture that was approved by the board previously. Um, the work session settings appropriate for this. And where exactly was it? 2100 Penfield Road, the uh, west side of Harris Whalen. A couple lots down drive. from Rengen. Yep. <clears throat> Rengen Orthodontist, most recently okay. went in. Yep. The school's like behind it. Five or six parcels down from that. Still backs up to the uh, Harris Hill School Could you behind it. Pull up um, the rendering that would have been presented with the application. Should be architecture somewhere. There we go. So, just a refresher for the board this is what was uh, approved architecturally <coughs> on the building. The current building would come down, completely demolished and a new build. It's also too important to note that this is part of the BNR rezoning where mm -hmm. uh, the site plan was designed as more of a phase one, phase two. Phase one being that entrance would come off Penfield Road and access would continue from Penfield Road. Once the rear access drive is available from development to the east out to Harris Mainland Park Road, the curb cut would go away on Penfield Road and access would be just through the back of the property. Right kind of highlight to that plan. The Rengen um, started that, they have the curb cut off of Harris Whalen, so they're the first lot in, there's several more to go, but they've kind of started that piece, and then we're seeing that with what uh, most recently approved urgent care on the opposite side, and mm -hmm. has a similar setup of, uh, with the rear access. So has staff gone through all the conditions that were um, uh, with the approval resolution back then to see whether or not there's anything that uh, jumps out at you um, that they would have difficulty meeting? No, 14, I mean, we, oh, 14 versus now, 2014 versus yes. now. Yeah, there wasn't anything that was is different or, or changed since then. They came back, got a, a second approval, so it was uh, since August of last year uh, was their extension. Uh, obviously, that had expired, but it's whether the board wanted to go back to a public hearing, um, that is an option, or whether the board's comfortable going ahead with Reapproving the project, it's up to you. I'm good with it. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'll make a motion. Okay. Okay, we have second. a second. Second. Tidings and Burton. Hetsky? Aye. Burton? Aye. Knauer? Aye. Tidings? Aye. Okay. We'll pass along the resolution to the applicant. And, um, and Mr. Chairman, you'll actually also be re-signing those plans as well with the approval for a re-day just That's fine. getting a time stamp on that now. Might need the exercise. <laughs> yep. Um, Anything else? Only other thing that we it's have Silver for you. Silverwoods? Silverwoods, that, that was mentioned in uh, the um, <clears throat> previously they're going to hold off until August to bring a plat map to the board for signatures. Okay. They're just getting ready to file for uh, Section six that was approved last year. It's Visca. Uh, it's uh, Viola. 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 Yes. There's the, all the utilities and infrastructure, and it's just a matter of filing the plat map for the first phase of houses. Um, August applications. There are two for the public hearing that day. Um, the first one is a sketch plan for a Verizon telecommunications tower on Shoecraft Road, very nor the northernmost property in T in Penfield. It, Shares the border with Penn, uh, Webster. Address is 1192 Shoecraft Road. Has a sketch plan for a tower. Uh, Doug's just pulling up a quick aerial of the property. Uh, it's behind. Whoa. Oh, okay, same, we see the site same, plan too. Same tree line. So you see the pool. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I saw the pool on the picture, so. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was going to make reference. It'll... I was going to make reference to the existing tree line that uh, the tower would is proposed yeah. to be constructed right in beyond there. a pretty dense tree line, um, kind mm -hmm. of more in the middle of the property. You got a power lines running down the north side. Yeah, that's the town line town between lines. Webster and, and Penfield. Mm -hmm. So they will be informed through. Once it gets to, if it does get to preliminary final through 239M, and it would copy Webster as well to let them know that that was okay. a project of putting their, yeah, their community. A balloon out there for uh, sketch plan at this point, so between sketch plan and a potential preliminary final could application. Be uh, but I mean, that's something up to the board. I know we did that most recently in the Panorama one. They came in and it was uh, like an AT&T or T-Mobile tower. Mm -hmm. um, and the board had them fly that and take some view shed uh, photos of mm -hmm. it. So that'll be up to the board as part of your and I believe, discussions. And I believe, Terry, you were out there with um, the people in Allen's Creek Valley when they were oh, yeah. flying those balloons. Yeah. We were all yeah. out there. Yeah, Everybody was, I'm sorry. Yeah. And there's pictures. There's some, there were pictures there. Yep. So we got a history. There's a history of it there, and it wouldn't be unheard of to ask for it again for this site. So. Do you know what the height is? 134 feet. <coughs> Jim, Jim bought breakfast in Oh, nice. So it's your turn. <laughs> you shouldn't have said anything. To me. <laughs> I didn't mean, show up at one meeting and then <laughs> Foot in the bill. Uh, app, the other application uh, that the board would have for the public hearing is the final site plan approval for um, Crown Point Section 2B. Uh, this continues north towards Plank Road and then starts making the bend towards Shoecraft. No, yes, Shoecraft, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, preliminary approval, they've gone through the whole process for preliminary approval of the entire subdivision. This is just for the next section of houses mm -hmm. they'd like to start building. And there's, a cap, there's an image of it on the screen there from the site plan. And it will provide all the application materials in advance of the August meeting. Okay. That includes one new house at the corner of Shoecraft and, and Plank is also part of the subdivision. Subdivision property or site plan. Right. Right. All right. That's all we got. Everybody good? I'm good. Anything else? Old business, new business? All business. No business. All right. I guess we will adjourn. Have a great uh, rest of the month.